Hi, I'm Missy Kay, The Book Fix, and today my review is of the Veronica Mars novel, well, the first one. Uh, it's called The Thousand Dollar Tan Line, and I went out and bought this as soon as it was, as it was available because I am a huge marshmallow, um, and yeah, I liked it a lot. I was a little nervous because I tried to read tie-in novels to uh, movies and TV before, well, TV anyway. Um, I've tried to read tie-in novels before and um, Castle was not the worst thing ever but it just felt like yes this has been written by a screenwriter or a group of screenwriters maybe and they just don't understand how to write a novel because they're two different kinds of writing. Um, and I also tried, well I did read um, a Torchwood novel and I love Torchwood, um, even when it wasn't that good, I still loved it. <laughs> um, and you know, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. This is good. It takes place right after the movie, so if you haven't seen the movie, well, you should. Um, Veronica is back in Neptune and her dad's still having trouble with it, and I have to say because the heart of the series and the movie and everything about Veronica Mars is of course the relationship between Veronica and Keith and they they stayed very true to that here um, even though he was not 100% he wasn't he wasn't present all the time he's still recovering from the accident that was in the movie um, it was it was very central um, and there's also um, all of your favorites, except there's not a lot of Logan because he's on his deployment. Um, but all of your other favorite people are in this movie, are in this book, <laughs> and it's it's very very well written um, for something that is based on a TV show slash movie. I liked it so much. If you haven't watched Veronica Mars, do yourself a favor, go out and watch the show, and watch the movie and then read this book.